Hey everybody, Constipated Brutal Cage back with more Let's Play Pikmin 2. Last time we got here to floor sub to floor sub level, yes, that's redundant, to sub level 11 of the Hall of Heroes, where we fought the biggest bitch form of Empress Bullblacks in the game, and tragedy struck and I lost like 30 Pikmin. Yay! <coughs> I don't know what's on the next floor though. Let's see, maybe it's the mana legs. That'd be f I'd be completely fine with that, actually, because mana legs are pretty easy. And it looks like it is, actually, based on this floor layout. No? What do we have here? <gasps> A pussy out floor, but with treasure in it. Okay. Okay. I can do. I, I dig. I dig. Let's see here. Yes, restore some reds. Yay. They knew that that floor was an incredible bitch. And they. Ooh. You. Die. Aha. Easiest boss ever. You're a dissent glint beetle. I like that. This should be my favorite gyro block. Why isn't this one the favorite? The green one. The green one's pretty cool. Green's a cool color. Nintendo block lost gyro block. 80 money. So I guess, it's, guess that makes sense why it's lost. Okay, though. Let's go restore some Pikmin. Ooh, I have a leaf that I can throw into it. Perfect. Sacrificial flower! Yay! Wither and die, plant. You're no longer necessary to me. But now I have 15 of you guys. Any other beetles here? No! No! Screw you, game. If I can hit this one. Oh, bad, 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 bad. <laughs> Looks like I'm not hitting it. But, once again, choose the right one is the biggest puzzle here. You don't want to accidentally exit and have to go fight that thing again. I can see why you could. You, why they let you chicken out because you could have like five pigmen left and be like there's no way I'm beating this so you just leave and go get more pigmen but I actually know what all the rest of these bosses are now it's the man at legs and then the next four is the beady long legs so it's, it's gotten easier thankfully the only thing about the man at legs this time is that there's water which I remember that so if I were really smart, I should have gone for blues with that candy pop bud, but I felt like getting reds. Cause that'll be reds will be more beneficial for the last floor. Alright, let's see here. I think I am just gonna take my blues into this battle though. Twenty eight, that's that's a good squad. Now. That's a good lineup. I feel safe with you guys. I feel you guys are pretty safe. And as long as I can keep it over with this side of the area, then I'll be fine. Let's see, where can I hide though? Let's see, if I can angle it right, I can get. Uh, I can hide here. But that's pretty risky. Let's see here. I think that, come on dude, figure out how to get over here. I think that there's enough difference in floor here to get it, I'm not sure though. <laughs> I think I'll just go for right here. Alright, but, spicy spray, okay. Let's 
And it's gonna attack, right? Yay! Watch. You guys are safe back here, right? Okay, good. Let's try and lure it onto this side of the room, though, because it can position itself over those guys, and I missed. I need to stop playing so zoomed out. Shit. I confuse it. And the president is closer to it, so it's actually going after him. I did actually get a good throw on it, though. Damn it. <laughs> That's funny. It's just going for this guy. That actually gives me time to position myself and go for an attack. This worked out well for me. Oh, I am a spicy spray again though. So I want to get this guy dead and the bosses from this point out don't... are sort of... at least the beady long legs is pretty like... you just sort of slow process that. But, I actually got a really good position on this guy, and it's dead. Uh, how I love you, man at legs. You were like the hardest and scariest boss ever for me the first time I fought you, but now you're so easy. Like, once you learn how to shield yourself from it, then it just becomes easy. And it's no challenge at all. But the next floor is pretty easy, and I think I might actually... If I can do it fast enough, I can finish this subcave on this floor. I might not, though. I don't know. And you can barely read what that says. Nintendo block, memorable gyro block. Yeah, memorably happy. And nice. 80 money is the yellow one. Alright. Onward we go. Man, once you make it past the Empress Bull Black, it's all downhill from here. Because even the really the last boss in this, the boss at the end of the the dungeon here isn't really hard. Like if you know what you're doing, it's not hard. But if you don't, then it, I could see it being like horrifically hard. It's, it's basically it's just a harder version of the beady long legs, or harder in some ways, easier in others. Right, but the first thing you want to do on this floor, do you want to just take your captains out and go away? Take your captains out, and because there's a like crap ton of dweevils on this floor that you want to take out, so they don't get in your way. Oh, my got stuck. And once again, there's water, so blue Pikmin is gonna be your squad here. So back when you were on that the earlier sub cave with the Queen Candy Pop Bud, with the single one. It's not a bad idea to go for blues, because there's a lot of stuff that uses blues. Die. Your fire is nothing to me. That's re I'm pretty surprised, actually, that I haven't lured it out yet. And these Munge Dweevils are just so movement-y and annoying. I don't like them. So I kill them. But yeah, you don't want these guys in the way during your fight, or else you'll just like, hit them and stuff. Or they'll kill your Pikmin or whatever, so it's like, oh, just kill them now. It's easier, and they just need to stop running. They need to just sit there and take it. Like men. Okay, just take it. Die. Huh. Look at that guy. It's a Munge Dweevil carry- oh no, it's an uh, Anno Dweevil. 
I want to kill it anyway, though. Why should you live when all the others die? Because you're smart enough to pick stuff up? No. Drop it. Alright. One more. You don't get to live either. Yeah, it's the reverse of the other one. It's the Muns carrying the anode instead of the anode carrying the Muns. And I love being the nerd that knows the names of all these guys. Because <laughs> it's fun. I actually think that the beady long legs won't come out unless you have Pikmin with you. And that's making sense to me, because it has not shown up yet. What is this one? Caustic Dweevil, that's what you're called. Have I found- I've found one of you before. No, don't go towards my Pikmin. Stay away from them. You're the only one who can do somewhat damage on me. Good for you. Okay, let's see you though. Get a spot where we can separate. I didn't. Yeah, I got some whites. So just blues? Perfect. And you guys can just go cower in your corner. Because I won't be needing you for this fight. This is sketching me out, actually. Idea. Alright. Yeah, I just need one of you. Come out and play! Where are you? Okay, I guess you need more pigment than that. Is this thing just gonna not come out? There it is! Okay. I was within the right spot. But yeah, the beating long legs, remember the strategy for the beating long legs. Only for the beating long legs is to stay under it. And throw when it ducks. That's only for this one, okay? I'm going to tell you that as a warning for the next boss. When which you do not want to just stay under it. Except for... Or after... Or you don't want to stay under it when it attacks. Because the BD long leg is pretty mellow and doesn't have an actual attack other than just walking around. The next boss... Is... I'll explain it when I get there. But it's funny how they ner how much they've nerfed this boss since the last game. I mean, this boss was hell in the last game. And it's smoking. Bro, do you smoke? <laughs> smoking, rust has fallen. It's an easy boss if you bring a small group of Pikmin into it, because then you can just chill under it and be totally fine. No no worries whatsoever. But if you bring in a giant squad, then they'll get stuck under the feet and die, and there'll be all... And it's dead. Ding! Fries are done. We got the red one now. Red gyro block. <laughs> this is the last of the gyro blocks, though. The last treasure is different, and actually, I think it looks like it just looks like I'm gonna be have I'm gonna be having time to do the the next block, next floor. The red one, the fond gyro block. But on to the last floor of this cave, and with only four videos, so. Despite it being the longest cave, it isn't that much longer than other ones we've been dealing with. I'm finishing it in about the same amount of time, so... Uh... So I'm gonna save my whites again. 
Ah, isn't that a relief to see? The once you once you make it to the final floor and it's just like, hey, buddy, you're almost done. And the white Pikmin need to stop thinking that they're blue Pikmin because they keep doing that, and it's irritating. What is in these caves, though? Eggs. But even this this boss, I had to spice it up a little bit and put some jelly floats in there. I am actually going to power up. Okay. I wanted to power up. I talked about that earlier. Bef like before in an episode. Like, what if you really wanted to power up but only got with spicy sprays and bitter sprays? Like, that'd be pretty chill. But it'd be like, still, really? Alright, there we go. And I didn't get as much as I would like to, but whatever. Let's go glitch this. It's actually making it so that I'm... I didn't use as many sprays in here as I thought I would. I'll maybe use, like, these two sprays that I just got in this next boss, but... Other than that, I think that most of these... Most of my sprays will be going towards the next dungeon. So let's see here. Okay, you want to kill some of these jelly foes beforehand. If you sort of like hug the edge, then you're not going to lure the boss out. Let's get this greater spotted over here. These guys aren't going to get too much in the way of the boss fight, but why chance it, you know? I don't like how close that lesser spot it is. Kill it. That'd be funny if they like hid the treasure inside one of these instead of the actual boss. Alright. Let's see here. Hug the edges and you'll avoid the boss. Basically what it does. Oh, that's sort of cool how you can see in like the shadow there's like a spider web. It's pretty faint, but it's still there, and that's pretty cool. I never noticed that before. I never spent a long time just sort of like looking at the stuff on this floor. It's probably like that in other spots too, like with the uh, beady long legs. Like it just has a, like, probably a metallic spider web under it. Alright, but I'm gonna lure it out without the use of my pigment. For safety reasons. And that is what we're fighting today. The Raging Long Legs. Let's see here. And it has much bigger stompers, but it's also lower to the ground. So, let's see here. Should be stopping soon. Right. Once it does that, got it. I feel like sketchy. No, no, no. My group is too big. <laughs> oh, hey, look at you. Hey, two survived. See, that thing is not too bad, is it? Right, let's get reds and let's get the blues, I guess. Yeah, that's a good squad. 42! I think he's getting really close to this room. It sounds like he's having a really hard time moving. Alright, though. So you get under it, and you start chucking like crazy. then it shakes off, you whistle, and you run. Because it does that. And if 
if you were under there, then you were screwed. But the great thing of it being really low down is that you can kill it super easy like that. <laughs> not the boss that you were ex not as much of a boss as you were expecting from the last floor, is it? I only managed to kill a few of my Pikmin and just by sort of like me stupidly going in there with too many. But uh, here you'll see a familiar face as a treasure. It is clearly the head of a Rob unit, as you can see. Which, if you've played uh, Smash Bros or Mario Kart DS, then you know exactly what Rob is. And interesting name for the treasure. Wait, let's see it. Let's see it. 250 money is not too bad, earner. But remembered old buddy. Abbreviation ROB. So, pretty cool how they did that. But, uh, that's it for this floor. Or for this cave, actually. Not too bad of a run, if I do say so myself. I only had a mass genocide on one floor, so. Can't ask for more than that. And I have 11 spicy sprays and 7 bitter sprays still, so. Let's get. Let's GTFO. And end this day off, though, I guess. Because despite me being able, pretty much being able to do the dream den on this floor, I don't want to. <laughs> that's that's overload for me right now. These caves, you got to take them out one at a time. And we got 90 monies off of bosses alone, which is more than a lot of the treasures in here. These final caves aren't exactly high earners, but they're there, and you got to do them because that's what you do. Because you're amazing. Like that. Alright, though. Uh, I guess I'll probably just end the day off early. Let's see here. So, how many do we lose of you? We lost 20. You managed to maintain all of your numbers by some miraculous event. You, we lost 8. Not. What are you doing? Stop glitching out, controller. And you lost one. One of your species died. Uh, let's see here. So I forget, do the eggs come back on this one? I don't think they do, do they? Nope. Uh, well, I guess next time. I might do another harvest day, I don't know. I'm not sure if ten spicy sprays will be enough. But next time we'll do the Dream Den. We're wrapping up on the end of this game. And after that, then, I'm going to have Matthew here, and we're going to do challenge mode. Complete challenge mode. With purple flowers on everything. And we're going to unlock Louie's Dark Secret video. Which I think I've... I might have done once before, I'm not sure. I don't know. But go away, Kathleen Greg. No one likes you. Go away, Wally Bog. No one likes you. Go away, Sherwig. No one likes you. You can say Fireball likes you. On Earth, not Fireball likes Fireball Hog. You're cool. That's funny. There was two of them. They were moving in the same line at the same time. That was pretty cool. It's like they were clones of each other. Whoa. But pretty, pretty decent earnings today. Uh, pretty bad losses today. Let's see how many. 50. I lost 50 Pikmin today. Yeah. Oh well. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I can read the letter from yesterday too. Is that the same one? No, I got a repeat letter. That means I'm doing bad in this game. Louis, you've sent absolutely no replies. I'm worried about you. I'd like to come see you, but I'm so old. All I can do is send you preserved bug foods. You keep doing that, Louis. Apparently that's his aunt. Or his, like, his great aunt or something. It's not his grandma. I think I'm still going to call her Grammy, though. Let's see here. I think we've completed some sets, though. You've collected these Xenoflora series. Botanists will fog their spectacles over these wonders. What else? Ah. <sighs> You've collected the Modern Amenities series. Advanced technology or worth a junk? Who cares, there's a robot arm. 
You have collected the Crystallized Emotion series. With a flashy name, you can sell anything. <laughs> what, you can't advertise marbles? Will that not sell? Oopsie. And we got... I only lost one Pikmin to that beast. That was funny, it made the noise, but it was stopped. And I still need to find one of these. I don't know where to find that, though. <laughs> but, uh... That's it for this episode. 25 minutes? That's pretty decent time. Uh, Next time, we're gonna do Dream Den, I guess. Or start it. I might have another Harvest Day off camera or something. I don't know. But, if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my videos. It'd be very much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Constipated Burrito Cage. Peace out and have a great day. Bye, people.